Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. So the job came in for the slaughter. I got six uh, big discs, really, they're pulleys, um, that we gotta, they're a two inch bore and we gotta put a keyway in them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the sh slaughter here. Um, and this is all gonna be learning experience. I've already done a few keyways on this, but not a lot, not a lot of experience. Um, so we're going to be kind of experimenting and see how it goes. Now, the customer already told me that, you know, there's some leeway on these and we're not too concerned, but we'll get this all set up and uh, kind of learn as we go. So I'm going to right now switch my jaws around and I'll get the tool holder in there and get things kind of lined up and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so when I bought this machine, um, the uh, family didn't have any of the tooling with it. Um, it was a, it was an estate. Um, the guy I bought it from, his dad owned it. He had a small shop, a little uh, prototype shop, and um, he had a little lathe. He had an index mill, and he had this thing. And the lathe went to a friend of mine, and that's how I found out about this. But then when he was at work, his sister went in and sold everything else for pennies. And, you know, because this is so big, nobody can move it. So um, I didn't get any of the tooling with, and there's still some problems there in the family because of that. But anyway, I pulled out a bunch of books because I really don't know how to run this myself. Never have really, I don't have any experience with shapers or slaughters. So learning this is, is kind of a new one. And I pulled out the books. And it showed me how to grind my cutter. So I ground my, my cutter here. And uh, these are tool holders that I made. Um, and all I did was milled, milled a slot in the backside here and then welded a cap on and my set screws. So that is our tool holder. And then our tool just slides in. If uh, I don't have a burr in there. But the tool will just slide in there, and then I got set screws on the side here to clamp it. So let's uh, get the tool holder up in there. I'm going to put my indicator on it, indicate it straight, and then I'll show how to get the part in there and set that um, according to what the book says. do here is let me get them a little more light in there maybe not much I don't know if you can see there's a line scribed on the part and one scribed on the on the tool now when I ground that tool I used my my one of my machinist squares and uh, got it as true to square as possible because when I made these tool holders I made them very square so now we need to, what you will do is you line up your line, and you see this is a rotary table, so I can rotate it to line up. And it looks like I'm lined up pretty good right there, but we don't know if we're centered. And that's where we're going to back my cutter up just a little. I'm going to. Drop it in a little bit. I'll bring it in just a touch. Just a touch on the corners, if I can see it. I think I'm there. And we'll see if it scrapes on the corners. Now you do this all by hand. And then look in there. 
and we didn't touch. So let's take it in another five and try that again. And we'll just keep doing that until I hit it. Until I touch. And not quite. You know what? I'm going to bring it down a little more here. See where I'm at. And this is a big machine. There's a lot of a lot of distance to cover to reach it. I'm still not touching. Take a little more. I still don't think I'm there. We'll get there yet, and then we'll know how close we are. You know, the setup is the worst part. There we go, we touched. But we only touched on one side. And because I know that cutter is square, I know I need to come this, come over. So we'll bring it over. I'll just bring it down again. Now we're touching on both sides. So we're pretty close to where we need to be. Now we adjust our line again to center. I think we're pretty good there. So that means we can start a cut. So we'll move the camera back and we'll get going on this. Okay, so for what I got it set up, the stroke I have it set up, it says I can run in uh, fourth gear, which is really fast. I'm going to run in third because we're still learning. So we'll, we'll oil on there. Ah, and set up my indicator so I know how far I'm going. I could use the dial on the machine, but I don't want to chance or trust that. I'll just use a dial indicator off of the base of the machine. And I'll show that when I'm all done here. But then once we get set up one time, we can have repeatability. So let's, let's get started here. measure that and see where we are. So there it is, the first keyway. Part's freaking heavy. <laughs> so, but there it is. Came out beautiful, absolutely perfect. So I'll set the camera up a few more times and we'll do some more run-throughs. I'll do different shots of this machine running.
So there you have it, the Mori 12 inch vertical slaughter. Um, I'd say it was a pretty good investment, um, really a nice machine, good shape, um, and does a beautiful job on keyways and so quick. Um, makes broaching and key seating look like a waste of time. Um, this thing is just so fast and, and accurate. I mean, the, the accuracy of those keyways, I got a gauge block I slid in there, it, it's absolutely perfect, as long as your cutters are ground nicely. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed all the camera angles that I gave you. I hope I was informational. I hope this video was fun and for you, as was for me, mostly it was just fun running the machine. But, uh, so hopefully there's more jobs coming and we can do more with this thing. I really want to try out some of the other stuff it can do, you know, with the rotary table. There's so many features to this machine, so many uses. So uh, hopefully soon we can get on that. So with that, you can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com and like, subscribe, and share. Share our videos, share our channel, stay with us. And uh, also down in the description is a list of tools, um, links to tools on Amazon that I have used in the, over the years, like the mag base, I don't know if you saw that there, adjustable mag base, dial indicators, things like that, just inexpensive, uh, cheap tools to get you going in your own home shop. So please, feel free to check those out and uh, if you would like to purchase them, feel free to. That's just links to Amazon, so do as you wish. But uh, until next time, get out in your shop, and get it done right the first time. <laughs>